Hi, I'm Ryan. I sail 29ers out of Royal Vancouver Yacht Club with my brother Adam. And today we're going to take you through some quick performance upgrades so that you can get the most out of your 29. The first thing we'll look at on our boat is our Vang system. Um, so it's traditional system up front, but then back here, um, so we can kind of have some settings. We've attached to the, a bungee to the back of the boom. And then the bungee attaches to a piece of spectra further kind of in the middle of the boom when you have no vang on. And then the spectra runs down to the block that the vang is attached to. So when you pull on more vang, the bungee will get pulled tight and move along the boom. And then to set our numbers, we've set zero at no vang on at all. So that's where the bungee and the piece of spectra meet. And 10 is our max, it's kind of fading, but um, we set that by just pulling on as much bang as we would ever pull on in a race. And then we set kind of even numbers between that. So we went from one to 10, but you could do more if you'd like. Um, so yeah, it comes in handy in races. You can have a chart set up on your computer or on your phone with your different settings, and you always know it will be right. All right, so now we've got the trapeze wires. So we've added another spectra adjustment to get lower in heavy wind and higher in light wind. So the way it works is you just tie like a little Aussie bullet at the top uh, of, to the wire. And then you've got an eye splice that just isn't buried, so it slips. But you have to make sure that this section here is the same length as the FID so that it doesn't slip. And you can set it low on windy days so that you can get lower and still reach the puck and you can raise it up on light wind days so that you can stay nice and high for the downwinds. Also we've added this plastic puck here um, and this just helps it sits a lot lower than the other pucks so you can raise it up all the way and then still you're able to get your fingers in there and lower it down when you need to get lower. Another thing we've added to our boat is this bungee system here. So similar to the other bungee system, it attaches to your trapeze wire, goes underneath the gunnel here, but instead of tying, uh, tying up at the back here, it goes through the hole, um, comes through the block, your main sheet block, and this kind of keeps everything tidy at the back of the boat so nothing gets tangled. Um, then it comes back through the other side of the boat, under the gunnel, and attaches to the other trapeze wire. For our jib system, we have a fairly thin jib sheet, it's about 4 mil, so that it runs a lot smoother through the blocks. Um, also on the clue, we have a snap shackle, so this just makes it a lot easier to change on the water, so if you're in light wind and turns to heavy wind, you can just pop it onto the next one and it's a lot easier. Yeah. Another quick upgrade you can do. Um, is upgrade to these Zyke hiking straps here. This is a lot more comfortable to hike off. They have rubber grip underneath so your feet don't slip at all. Um, yeah, but we run them the same way. Just screwed in up here. There's some rope at the back that we attach them to. So here we have a bungee that just ties on to each shroud. Um, in light wind, you can move it up so that it's out of the crew's way, but in heavy wind, it's really nice to have it down so that when you let go of your trapeze wires, they don't wrap around. So they'll just bounce off and come back to where they were so that you don't find yourself untangling them when you tack or jibe. One last thing that we've done to our boat is we've added this bungee in here. So instead of just tying off the bungee somewhere to the grab rails here, we have one long bungee that's attached to a frictionless ring here uh, that the spinnaker halyard goes through. And then the bungee goes through a block back down the middle of the boat through here. That comes all the way up to the front of the boat and attaches onto your double block for your trapeze system. So when you hoist the spinnaker, this block is going to come back. And now this bungee is going to be looser so that your retrieval system works back here. So there's no wind in the spinnaker. But this bungee will come back further so that your 
spinnaker retrieval line is not affecting the spinnaker. For our spinnaker sheet blocks, we have these black little pieces of rubber here. They kind of act like springs, but instead of uh, springs, we use these because springs tend to unwind and come off. Uh, this little black piece of rubber here just ensures that the block stays upright so that the spinnaker sheet is always available to grab when you're jiving and hoisting. West Coast Sailing would like to thank Andrew and Ryan Wood for their help making this video. For more information on the products used in this video and help with all your other sailing needs, please visit westcoastsailing.com.